there, Y Charters. Professor June Romero here bringing you our latest video in our new Y Charts 101 series. Throughout this series, we'll be sharing useful workflows within the Y Charts platform that can help you speed up your research and communicate your insights with your clients. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to leverage some of the templates located throughout the Y Charts system. What I love about templates is that it doesn't matter if you're a new Y Charts client or a longtime user. There's always great insights and valuable tips to be had within these templates, and we're always adding new ones. Let's go ahead and jump in. To start, I'm going to go into our fund screening tool. In the upper left-hand corner of my screen, you'll notice that there is a new fund screen unsaved drop-down. I'm going to go ahead and click over there and go to new from template. You'll notice that we have a variety of different types of templates to select from, including um, various descriptions and types of screens that we'll be looking for here. I'm just going to go ahead and select this first one looking for best performing international equity funds. Once I hit start you'll see that we have a pre-built screen that whittles down that universe of international equity funds down to about 55 or so from funds. From here you can go ahead and be a little bit more specific not only looking at the broad asset class but maybe a specific category. As you normally would, just go to the funds tab up top, category name, and then just for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and select foreign large cap growth funds. That'll take that list of about 55 securities down to a more manageable list of seven. We also do have templates available in our stock screening tool. If I jump over there for a moment, same process here, just go to new stock screen, go to templates. We're in the heat of our earnings season right now, so maybe I just want to go to the events category and look for S&P 500 companies that have earnings upcoming. Once I hit start, you'll notice here that this screen is sorted by the next earnings release, as well as some of their projected earnings and historical earnings here. Something great to keep your eye on. You want to add a metric column, for example, one day returns. Please feel free to do so and make it your own. I also like the ability to create valuable insights for clients that I want to be able to put in newsletters, blogs, and things like that. So let's jump over to the fundamental charting tool and go ahead and open up a new template. Whether you be looking at economic information, individual securities, or something like this, which is just breaking down broad asset class performance, you have a lot of options at your fingertips. For this example, I'll just go ahead and take off small cap, some of the international and fixed income indices that we have here, just to make it a little bit cleaner. And then maybe I just want to be able to give like a year to date update. I'll just toggle that to year-to-date performance, and there you have it. Feel free to download this image, put your own custom colors on here, or anything like that. Lastly, I want to show you how you can leverage templates within model portfolios to create blended benchmarks. This is really helpful for when you're creating like a balanced or an allocation model, and you want to have an appropriate benchmark to go along with it. We'll just go to new from template within the model portfolios tool. I'll go ahead and select a 60% equity template. That'll take us directly into a pre-built model portfolio with some various funds that amount to a 60% equity benchmark. And then if you want to go ahead and rename it, let's just go ahead and do like a 60-40 EM for Romero Capital. Hit save and that'll go directly into your templates library. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Now that you know how to access our templates, please jump back into your YCharts account and try these for yourself. Also, stay tuned for upcoming videos every few weeks.